What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're gonna be doing a quick unboxing of Automatic. And what this is, is um, a little uh, travel aid that you plug into your car's onboard diagnostics port. And there it sits, and there it gathers data. Um, and it's very good data. It's uh, data that you're going to use to get better gas mileage, uh, track your trips, track your routes, see if there's better routes, etc., etc. Uh, it also does uh, some emergency features. Say if you got in an accident, it's going to auto dial 911 for you um, in case of an emergency and stuff. So this is a pretty cool little gadget. Um, let's take a quick look at the box. As you can see, it says automatic. Uh, flip it over. There is the automatic.com slash app. So you will get um, an app for your Android and iOS devices. Um, and then again on the back, it's going to tell you basically what it is. It's drive smarter, save big on gas. You can actually clear the little check engine light uh, that would come on. Track your trips and drive scores. Always remember where you parked and automatically call to help for crash in a crash. So a lot of cool features. Now another thing that I'm going to go over a little bit later on is this also has IFTTT. Maybe that's one too many T's, but it's if this then that integration. So you can set up some recipes to work with this. Um, so quite a few neat little things you can do with this. Uh, so let's go ahead and unbox it and take a look what we get in the box. And that's going to be the extent of it right there. So we have the device itself. Now again what this is, the, it, it plugs in, like you take your car to the shop and they plug it into a computer to do diagnostics. This is where they plug that in at. Uh, and again it's called the OBD or onboard diagnostics port and pretty much any car made after 1996 is going to have one of those and this is going to work in that in that vehicle so even if you have an old uh, <coughs> car which you know this probably isn't going to get you any good gas mileage on this but uh, you know maybe it will it'll kind of tell you how to uh, drive a little better or something um, then you get a little welcome booklet and a sticker put on your car if you want and that is all she wrote that is all that is in the box it is pretty much the gadget a little instruction booklet and um, a sticker you can put on your car to let people know I guess that you have automatic uh, if you want to advertise that so anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video I'm gonna get this set up and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you um, how it works um, look at the app that uh, we're gonna install for it and see some data um, and stuff like that. So, and I'll kind of go over the setup too. And again, in the show notes, look for a link on where you can pick this up and a little more information. I'll also have a link in there for the IFTTT. Um, those recipes, I'm really digging the IFTT website. Uh, so, uh, a lot of stuff you can do with that, and it covers a lot of stuff too. And this just happened to be one of them I looked and I was like, oh cool, Automatic is concluded on that website. So anyway guys, I'm going to pause the video, get the setup, and I'll be back to do a little more demonstration of how this works and what you're going to get out of it. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, I've installed the Automatic in my car. And usually you'll find your ODB2 port somewhere under your steering wheel column. Um, as you can see, here's my gas feed and my brake pedal, and mine was just a little bit to the right here. Uh, some of them are going to be like over here by a fuse box or just somewhere up under your steering wheel column. Uh, you should find a plug. Mine was right here. This is all you do is you plug this in. It does get the power from your vehicle and it does connect to your phone via Bluetooth and then through the app I'm going to show you here in a minute you will run through the setup which was super simple. So let's go ahead and I'll go to the app and show you this. Alright guys we're going to take a look at the app here that um, you download and here it is automatic so we're going to go ahead and launch that and as you can see uh, the app has uh, pretty much come across and learned all about my vehicle uh, it knows that it is a Nissan Xterra and what I did is I actually took it on a quick little trip around the block here um, and I actually told it where it's at right now is home so it refers to it as home and that is the way it knows it and this is going to come in handy when you do uh, some other stuff with uh, IFTT so anyway, just a little bit, of, uh, I took a quick trip around the block. It was 0.4 miles, uh, three minutes, 9.7 miles per gallon, and I used 14 cents worth of fuel. 
Um, this might be something that you don't want to know, but uh, you know, I guess it's handy to know it. And this is going to try to help you maximize your gas mileage. So that's uh, a nice little feature. Uh, you can also click on your check engine up here in the corner and see that it has no problems detected. So it does monitor the health of your engine. And then if you happen to be on the road and something happens, you can actually find nearby mechanics. So that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, the app does, you know, you can, you can look at trips this week. Uh, and you can continue to monitor your, your, your pretty much your mileage and all your uh, excursions that you make uh, in your vehicle so you can see exactly what kind of miles per gallon you're getting and how to better it. So a pretty cool feature. Uh, let me come back here and I will actually show you some IFTT stuff, which is just darn right cool. All right, guys, this is IFTT. TTT.com and I have done a search for automatic as you can see I've filtered automatic here so this is some of the recipes you could actually use with the automatic and your phone um, some of them are quite humorous some of them are worthless some of them are quite helpful uh, you just have to look through them uh, and see what there is but uh, so when you download IFTT.com there's an, a separate app you register and you select your channels. So basically, you're going to give it access to whatever. Like uh, in this occasion, you'd have automatic, which is the actual device that's in your car, and Google Drive. So you've given this app access to those two things or accounts that you have. And so you download a recipe and you initiate it. So this, this recipe would actually log time spent at a location based on arrival and departure. And it would send it to your Google Drive in some kind of spreadsheet. This one here, a new automatic trip completed, create a OneNote page. Dude, where's my car? Uh, that one is just basically, where where did I park? It's going to send you through push notification the lo location that you've parked your car. Um, there's just log all of my trips to a Google spreadsheet. If you had OmniFocus, you could check uh, if engine light turned on and add a reminder to OmniFocus automatically. Uh, here's a good one. There. Tweet at Disney World when you park at Disney World. Uh, tweet whenever my check engine light comes on. Annoy your, annoy your followers. Uh, text me your car problems. So your check engine light comes on, you're going to get a text on your, your phone. And this is good. If you set it up on your wife's car, um, she's driving it, but it comes to your phone, then you know when she's having car problems. So, you know, that's one that might be kind of handy. Uh, if you are a Pebble owner, uh, you can actually push trip details to your Pebble via the pushover again. Unlike my, my house door when I get home and turn off the car. Uh, that you would have to have smart things, which is kind of a Z-Wave type home automation system. But it would integrate with that, so it knew when you got home, and it would unlock your house door, uh, so you wouldn't have to worry about it. Great for if your hands are full with groceries or something. Uh, as you can see, there's just numerous, numerous uh, recipes down here. I did a search, and it comes back with at least 12 hits. Uh, here's a Facebook integration. Upload a map of my road trip as a photo to Facebook. Um, all sorts of stuff. Call my house, my spouse immediately if I park in front of a Nevada brothel. <laughs> now, like I said, some of them are humorous. Uh, so that one, I guess, some spouse probably set up to catch her husband. Uh, unknowingly, he parked at a brothel and she got notified. Uh, so there are sort of all sorts of stuff out here that uh, you can set up. And they says check engine light, and then it'll go to your iOS reminders. If you have Google Glass, finish a trip and it'll show it to your Google Glass. Um, like I said, you just go through this app and see all sorts. There's Evernote, there's uh, Upush, uh, all sorts of stuff. Let's just jump one more page. I'm not going to keep going over this and over this, but you can get the idea. There it integrates with Wemo, it integrates with the Hue. Uh, blink my house lights when I leave work. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that unless you had somebody at home that you want to give a notice that you're on your way home for. Uh, so, you know, it integrates with you, your Google Calendar, just Dropbox, just endless possibilities uh, for this. So, very cool. I highly recommend it. Um, you can just do so much with it, and if you want to integrate it, then this is super simple to set these up. Uh, you don't have to be a programmer or anything. It's, these recipes are already done. You just got to basically uh, initiate the channels, uh, which is giving it access to your accounts, and then just go from there. Um, and set these up and activate them. So really cool. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up um, and a subscription to the channel. Feel free to share this video. And I appreciate you guys watching. And as always, 
Have a good one.